This is our second fish of the day. It is a flathead catfish. It's about 30 pounds. She is pretty heavy. Hard to hold. She's good. Yeah, I'd say 30 pounds. Wasn't nearly this big. She's short. I ain't gonna lie, she's a little short for 30, but she got the belly of one. Maybe. Uh, big old mouth on there. Big old mouth. I could look at these fish for hours. Just never want to let him go. This fish tests the limits. Alright, let's get a release on her. She's a little angry. Comparison. She's just gonna sit here and revive herself. Alright guys, we're back here. A little outdoors with the flathead catfish release. There she goes. Safe and sound. She swam right back to where where I caught her. This makes me think they're definitely spawning. Because Whenever you release them, they swim right back to where they were caught. It's uh, usually indicates there's a nest somewhere over there. And judging by how much structure is around here, I mean, you can tell for yourself, like, plenty of structure everywhere. I'd say there's definitely a nest in there. Water level have risen in the past week, had some, had lots of rain. That's why I decided to come out here. Didn't get anything last night. Caught bowfin earlier today. That was what I was hoping to catch. Last week, around this time, maybe two two weeks ago, we uh, hooked up on a blue catfish around this area. Took me for a wild ride up and down the creek a little bit. Fell in the water. There's only one way that blue could have gotten in here. And that swim 12 miles up from the noose. So, I've never heard of anything, of blues doing anything like that. I expect the flathead would, because they're more adventurous, but blues are just lazy and fat. And that completely took me by surprise. I'll spend a little bit more time here, and then I'll probably head out, because I got what I came for. Yeah, we're back with another fish. Looks like a channel. This is most definitely a channel. A goofy face, long whiskers. Got it. It's gonna say bar in channel catfish language. That's some interesting scars on his head. I don't know if he has face, but 